Is that gorgeous or what? Look at the architectural design on that. We've got an enclave of five homes built by Williams Farrow Builders. And I want to talk to you about them. And we're going to take a tour of one that's for sale. We're going to go all the way through it. I just want to tell you about this builder and why I think this could be really something special for the right buyers. A couple of these are for sale right at 475 ish Prices could go up or down. There's so much style in this. You have to see it to believe it. This is in Shannon Park. This is a great neighborhood on Lake Dell. In fact, the builder, Bobby Williams, and his wife grew up here in this neighborhood, not that far from Plaza Midwood. In fact, I drove along the plaza to get here. So this wasn't stuff that was just thrown together, guys. There was a, a design behind this. Usonia on Lake Dell. I'd love for you to give me a call at 704-345-3400. As always, I always encourage you not to call the number on the sign or on realtor.com. Just again, look at that style. You know, the pictures don't really do it justice. This is magnificent. And they call this mid-century modern. We're gonna tour this one right here at 1912 Lake Dell. It's for sale for about five and a quarter. Uh, three bedroom, two full bath and two and a half bath. Do you like the roof lines? I sure do. So this is an established Charlotte neighborhood. If you're the type of person that uh, likes the idea of being right, you know, close to center city, right in town, some of the cool historic neighborhoods, this could be perfect for you. Some of you are paying so much in rent that this would just make a doggone heap of sense to be able to own your own home and you'd never ever have to move. Everything's on one level. Beautiful. So guys, just feast your eyes on this. Wow. You know, I walked into this today. Again, I'd seen the pictures, but look at this. And let me tell you the difference between a builder like Bobby Williams and Williams Farrow Builders and just your typical average production type builder. I met Bobby uh, probably six years ago. I was going into a house to shoot, which was uh, probably in uh, Plaza Midwood or around there. Now we've got a uh, powder room right here, but again, have you ever seen a powder room with a skylight like that? Just to flood the light, big baseboard. And again, look at the cabinetry. This is modern guys. This is modern. And I, I happened to be going into the house to shoot it about the same time that this guy, construction guy, was taking off his shoes to go in. So many little things. So many little things. Look, who does this in closets? Yeah, Williams Farrow does. That's cool. And that closet continues right over here. And uh, I just really kind of struck it up with him, liked the guy, liked what he was doing. Look at the windows up. Look at the angles. Look at the... Mm, so much light coming in here. And uh, so we stayed in touch and I happened to call him yesterday morning to just ask him about something. He's the kind of guy that I would call and ask advice and seek advice from. We got to talking about this project. Stimulated me so much I went live yesterday and did a little live stream in front of an open house they were doing. Again, transom up high. See how they did the tile? Going vertical. It's got a lot of style to it. It really, really does. And so, so intrigued was I about this, I had to get out here uh, to actually see it for myself. And it reminds me of the Queen of Sheba. And she said, you know, the half was not told about you, King. I had to come and see it for myself. So you got a bedroom with what is an ensuite bath, if in fact you have this pocket door locked, then this could either be an office for you or it could be a guest bedroom. And again, very high ceilings windows up casement window right there that's cool that's class and so what is this for you in your world is this an office is this a treadmill room is this is a guest bedroom uh yeah that floor is gorgeous too by the way wow so a couple of bedrooms and a full bath right there and a half bath and are you ready for this now let me tell you what i've sensed about bobby williams and this builder look at that man come on somebody was thinking Right, just the way that that uh, ceiling line angles up and tied in with the roof lines, of course. Really, really neat. You're drawn to the back. This is on a pretty good sized lot, too, like uh, 0.64 acres, I think. So, modern? Yeah, it's modern, all right. To say the least, it's modern. Goes all the way up there. So, this, imagine bringing your friends over here or somebody hanging out at a party and just seeing this space and 
decorating it in your own unique manner and fashion. This is huge space. Now think about the span, that's what I'm thinking about. Uh, again, the span meaning you don't have any columns here in this, you know, or walls to support the structure. And I said, Bobby, what's different about your company? And he said, hey, you know, we build this to last a hundred years. I said, what do you mean by that? I see they got five of these. Look at these backyards. Now the other lots are a little under a half an acre. I can hear a frog out there. This is cool. Whoa. Man, perfect. And, and I said, well, what do you mean? He goes, well, like spans like that. See, this is great. Big space. You do a lot of living out here. And again, that light coming in. So you've got that door, but then from your master bedroom, which we'll get to in a minute, you've also got a slider going out. Cool. He said, well, like for instance, you know, we don't build to minimum standards. In other words, a lot of the business that we do, we do with production builders. We bring buyers to production builders. Builders have land and uh, they have a process and they have pricing that's really reasonable. Well, this is at five and a quarter in my world, tremendous value, especially if you are able to kind of peek behind the walls or behind the curtain. Look at those windows up, yeah? Cool, so much furniture you can put right up against here. Again, that floor is gorgeous. So to be able to get span like this, what he does is he kind of over engineers it. And he's got relationships, been doing this, what, 20, 23 years. And uh, got relationships with the cabinet. In fact, he used to have a cabinet shop. Not only the cabinet guys, the lumber yards. And, and, and Bobby, having started out as a civil engineer, you know, building roads, he knows about stress and loads and you know, what, what it's gonna take to make something last. And so that's the way he builds his house. So I said, boy, you must uh, have to charge a lot extra for that because obviously you're paying extra if you're using lumber that has been engineered and, uh, you know, instead of a, a, you know, just a normal two by 12, you're maybe, I think he said he does engineered I-beams, cool. This island is huge, people. Literally, you could put six people right there, five maybe. Big, beautiful, gorgeous, contemporary colors. You know, they say mid-century modern so this is a modern looking house but when you think about it the mid-century meaning like from the 1950s i think i'm mid-century modern i was born in 1950. <laughs> but you think about going out to la have you ever been there you see some of those bungalows and that's going to cost you a pretty penny right now in la so think about bung and there are a lot of ranches like that along here right here in shannon park that were built probably 60s right and so what this is a modern twist on it with much better materials and a better insulation. And again, he's like, hey, yeah, I want to build it so you could park your helicopter on the roof if you wanted to. That's a stretch, but I think you get the picture. So he over engineers stuff, even things like, like footers and uh, the, the beams under, this is a crawl space. So obviously to carry load, you've got to have beams. And just instead of going to the minimum standards, his standard is to over engineer it I want it to last 100 years. I want my kids and grandkids to be proud of the houses that I build. And I think that's great. Another thing too, it cuts down on warranty. Uh, if you've got stuff that's really strong and solid, uh, that does cut down. So again, no wire shelves, guys. Look at this, even in here, you've got, and you've heard me talk if you're a subscriber about, hey, why don't, why, don't, why don't they build stuff like this? It doesn't cost that much more. And most people just don't. But when you take pride in your work, like uh, Bobby Williams does, then it just is a whole different ball game. I mean, even things like keeping your job site clean when you're under construction. Again, if you're a subscriber on my channel, you know how I feel about that. And I'll often, I did a pre-drywall construction meeting last week, and you know, I, I, I told the builder, I said, I'm impressed with the way that you kept the job site clean. I said, just about taking pride in your work. And you know, let's face it, you don't want a bunch of dust behind the drywall had a customer who's building in the, with a production builder right now, and they said they've seen beer cans on site. I mean, is that taking pride in your work? I don't know. So being able to have a small custom builder to be able to build your dream house and be able to enjoy it for a long time means a lot. And if you have to spend extra money on concrete for your uh, footers uh, to go above the code, you're not building the minimum code standards, you're building above that, Hey, that goes a long way. You can just really feel good about living here. I just love this, guys. I love living out to the outside. And again, notice 
that this roof line does go up to, right? So everything's on an angle that way. And the other homes that are here on Lake Dell, they also, there's what I mean again, see? Look at that, right? I mean, you could certainly do this after the fact, but here you don't have to, because it's all built in. Man, you get spoiled on living in a house like this, I guarantee you. And uh, we'll take a look at the shower in just a second. So again, and by the way, hollow core doors in most houses, listen, that's solid core doors. So there's a lot to love about that. Man, this is just so gorgeous. And skylights, right? Again, into the bathroom, flooding light in. And look at that tile that goes all the way up, right? So you spend extra money. Did he have to spend money to do that? No. But did he? Yes. So you can tell I like this builder a lot. And I'd love to help you purchase one of these houses. A couple of them are for sale at 475. Again, if you call the number on the sign, you're dealing with the seller's agent. In fact, he's one of the part owners of the company. I strongly encourage you to let one of my buyer's agents get you in here to see this house. Uh, the price is already built in for our representation, built into the price of the home. Not gonna cost you any more to have us do it. So why don't you give me a call, let me know when you wanna get in. Cell number 704-345-3400. Again, guys, I think we hit on something pretty strong here. And here's a kid that grew up in this neighborhood and now he's building this neighborhood back with houses like this, right? Pretty amazing. Can't wait to talk to you soon. 704-345-3400. And I'll see you in the next video.